Now those dunes, we don't know how they're going to behave. We don't know how fast they're going to be destroyed by normal wave activity. We don't know how they'll perform if there is a hurricane that hits our shore in the next few years. We don't know how they'll change from season to season. And so we are using uh, a DJI Phantom 4 drone, which is a very common um, uh, drone on the market that is used by hobbyists and scientists alike. And what we're able to do is by taking about 2,000 photos of the front side of Tybee Island uh, in a flight, we're able to stitch those photos together, uh, create a mosaic that shows us the whole uh, front of the island, and then we can use um, computer tools that allow us to develop uh, an elevation model for the, that photo. And so we're able to have a surface that recreates the elevation of the dunes and the swales in between the dunes. And once we have that for one time period, we go back every three months and do it again. And so then once you have two different surfaces, you can subtract them from each other in computer programs. And that will show you where you've had sediment loss, where you've had sediment gain, and the patterns of where sediment is moving from and to on the island. One of the things that is critical for making this uh, computer and drone-based technique work is to have very, very good control points on the ground um, that you know exactly where it is in XY space, but also in the vertical dimension. So what we do when we're doing our, our overflights is we will go put out um, squares of PVC with uh, alternating black and white checkered pattern that are about two feet on a side and we'll put those out all over the beach <laughs> in various places and we will use a very very highly accurate global positioning system receiver to measure both the horizontal and the vertical accuracy of where those uh, those targets are located there is a much bigger picture with this project in that it will be applicable far beyond the work being done at Tybee right now. There really isn't a best practices manual for monitoring sand dunes, particularly created sand dunes. And so what we're hoping to do in this project and an uh, important part of the project is to develop a manual that can be used throughout the southeastern U.S. Uh, where beach conditions are relatively similar to monitor dunes that might be created in the future.